you're cut off from the world above. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun and a gathering net, but no armor, nor enough oxygen supply. Something he devised to salvage valuables from the ground. There are usually spots hidden beneath puddles of oily goo where you can use the net. He's been working on another project for the Mekton, a cannon, but it needs ammunition, and by that he means the scripts. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the Jumbo Puff. The best way to find scripts is to go talk to Moog. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. Find up there. Feel safe, friend. The money. Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find scripts. Gizmo thinks he's a little peculiar, but very knowledgeable. He has the ins and outs of all monster and creature whereabouts. Reese Monkey's Mekton is built sturdy, just like himself. Shield your eyes if the daylight hurts you. might want to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. Imagine that. You could just go to a place like this to get a proper meal back in the old world.
It makes such a great sound when it moves. Hear that? It's called quiet. Take matters back into your own hands. Neutralized. New thoughts for you. Time is over. Why walk on your own legs? Dead on. Made it cut. A great thing even better. Put that thing behind you. This Mecton is much more graceful than it looks.
That over there is Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to. Fresh air. This one's impressed to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. Claims he goes after the most dangerous game, huge monsters. Moog says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves and you know they'll miss. When it comes to monsters, he mostly picks who dies. Says it's wild that the world seems to be coming back, but he supposes that means more monsters for him to shoot. Wonders why you work so hard to keep things alive. Bullets help thin the herd instead. Says you should give up on working with the stubborn myriad. He keeps trying to put out their lights and they keep putting up new ones. Son. Says they keep the monsters away. He needs them closer, not farther. But enough of that, right? He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore, and if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. Amanka Bestilka says he's not sure, but if you're going to haunt something, it seems a waste not to eat it. Over Bug Bug Ad. Moog says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster haunter. Fortunately for you, he can help. He understands you need to start off with. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. Says you stick to the haunting and shots present themselves later. Let's see.
In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. Moog says you should go hunt for squips in the cave he... Some, the night brings terror. Getting out the tin can? Come in handy. Put one robot foot in front of the other. Wait, it's the Squip Hola. Place is just filled with critters. behind. Locked, but good. Once the volatilization from the nuclear waste evaporated, a volatile gas rose through the soil and infested structures, even Toxanol's own buildings. So, in a way, they caused their own death. Thank <laughs> you. 
squint into the oncoming light. Oh, idea. Go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up and you can get up to that entrance there. Netted a critter. You need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left. Make them count. You need to line up the switches so they match. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. When there's a gun around, you better be the one in control of it. Feel that power. No air left for whining about it.
There's a place and time for everything, but for that city scenario, it's already come and gone. Bang Shelter 7C should have been stated right there in Toxinol Level. It's a wild sensation to be away from the open air. Watch it. Time to walk on your own legs. <laughs> 